Buongiorno, or is it Guten Tag? Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today as we visit Italy's stunning Dolomiti Mountains and the region of South Tyrol. So we came here, we have reservations to stay by the Sizer Alm or the Alpe de Suisse, as it's called in Italian. But uh, we got there really early. We drove up from, from uh, Lake Garda. And uh, we got there too early to check in. So we decided just to take a little detour and come up here to uh, um, Provence, Lake de Breze. Uh, I forget all these names. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Lago de Braze is a photographer's dream. It's an alpine lake with stunning crystal clear water that actually looks turquoise and a beautiful Dolomiti backdrop. Lago de Braze is a must stop during a visit to the region. Lake Braze, or the Pragzer Wildsee in German, it sits at an elevation of 1,496 meters or 4,908 feet. It was formed by a mudslide that blocked the Rio Braze stream. It is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is known as the Pearl of the Dolomites. There's a four kilometer trail that circles the lake. Longer trails lead from the lake. You can rent a boat to go out on the lake. Um, entrance is free to the lake, but you have to pay for parking and we paid seven euros when we arrived. Swimming is allowed, but you won't see many swimmers because of the freezing water in the lake. Hey, hey everybody, here we are in uh, the beautiful Dolomiti Mountains, Dolomitin, Dolomites, uh, never quite sure how you pronounce it, uh, but in the, the South Tyro, the Sud Tyrol region of uh, Italy, Northern Italy. It, it has, um, it was Austrian for a long time until <clears throat> right after, after World War I, it was, uh, became Italian, but it still has a lot of uh, Germanic, a lot of Austrian heritage. So a lot of the places have two names. They have a German name and they have uh, um, an Italian name. So um, here in Sud Tyrol, Alto Adige, whatever you want to call it. So just an absolutely beautiful, part of the world and um, we've been coming here since 1997 um, off and on um, uh, every few years uh, to go skiing uh, we've, we've been here in the winter a lot the skiing is fantastic um, but we've never been here in the fall or the summertime um, to see it like this and it's absolutely spectacular um, one of the most iconic uh, photo spots in the world right here um, the church of uh, Saint uh, Magdalene um, right below us and lots of hiking trails you can hear the bells lots of goats and cows with uh, um, with bells and you can just hear the bells forever very peaceful very beautiful place just fantastic and uh, if you're a photographer um, you have got to come here this has to be on your bucket list to come here and take photos of this uh, iconic mountain range just everywhere you turn it's uh, there's another breathtaking sight So we're riding up the gondola from the valley station up to the top of Alpe de Suisse, which is, or that's the Italian name for it. The German name is the Sizer Alm. And uh, it's the largest, um, or not the highest, uh, pasture land in all of Europe. So it's at the top of the Dolomites and uh, absolutely spectacular views. It is a really, really beautiful place. Uh, we skied here several times. We 
the first time we skied here, I guess, was 1997 or so. We brought our children here many times, and uh, uh, but we've never been here uh, in the summer or the fall without snow to go hiking. So we're going to go do a little bit of hiking, have some lunch up at the top of the mountain, and just enjoy the scenery and hopefully take some spectacular photos. So we're really excited. Should be a great afternoon, and uh, I can't wait to hit the trails. Zoom bowl, everyone. About to have a great meal. Mm. Great food. We got gulai supra. We have uh, sliced, uh, we have pork slices with uh, gravy, Zurich style, and fried mushrooms. And I want you to look at that view over there. Look at what we're, look at what we're watching as we eat. All right, here we are walking the Alpe de Suisse, Sizer Alm, and uh, just a beautiful day. Uh, it's getting a little cloudy now. It's around uh, almost four o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, it's very peaceful up here. Lots of cows with bells. I mean, that's the biggest uh, noise you hear. There's some farm vehicles, an occasional vehicle coming up here uh, to the hotels and things like that. But uh, absolutely gorgeous. We've seen the, some beautiful mountain scenery. Uh, go around a little bit, see if you can see some of the mountains back there. Um, yeah, we're kind of in a little valley right now, so it's not, uh, can't really see, appreciate the mountains uh, as well as you can in other places, but uh, we'll get some more shots up there. But uh, just trails galore. You could come up here and, and walk for miles and miles. Uh, one trail leads to another, leads to another. They have little uh, refugios up here, so you could bring your um, backpack up here. And if you have reservations, you could uh, hike from one point to the next and spend the night and have a nice meal and probably a nice glass of wine or two, maybe a couple beers. Uh, the food's excellent from my experience in these mountain hoods. It's, uh, it's really delicious. It's always a good time. Um, yeah, so just beautiful. Uh, looks like uh, we saw some mountains off in the distance that have snow on them already. So uh, it's going to be about that time of year. Oh, let's see. Can we see the snow? Uh, if you can see, whoop. Off in the distance. Uh, over my, over Betty's head, over my left shoulder, there's a, you can barely see a little bit of snow there. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's starting to come. It's that time of year, mid-October. Matter of fact, today is October the 17th, I believe. So yeah, so it'll be probably be snowing here in a, at least another six weeks or so. And then uh, they get ready for the winter season and uh, uh, there'll be skiers here in uh, a month or so. And uh, it'll be nice. Hopefully, I'd like to be one of them this year. I haven't skied here in several years, but it's a great place to ski. And uh, yeah, so beautiful day here in Alpe de Suisse. And uh, should be on, uh, if you like to hike, if you like to eat good food, if you like to breathe fresh air, and if you like to see mountain scenery, this definitely needs to be on your bucket list. Right, Betty? What a great place. Thanks y'all for joining us on our visit to the German speaking rooftop of Italy one of my absolute favorite places on earth. If you enjoy stunning mountain scenery, delicious food and drink, summer and winter outdoor activities, and a mix of Italian exuberance and Austrian tidiness, then the South Tyro region of Italy is the place for you. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and share your experiences in Italy and traveling throughout the mountains of Europe. And be sure to subscribe 
and join us on our next adventure. Auf Wiedersehen, or is it Arrivederci? <laughs>